Ooh, welcome man, welcome back to the channel, guys. Real quick, let's talk about something. Y'all see what's going on here, right? Cam and lift the job, all right? Yes, my buddy finally got the camshaft out. All right, we was over here talking and discussing some issues. Now y'all know this is pretty common. Uh, lifter will fail and it would chew into the camshaft, but uh, I've never seen one this deep, guys. I've seen lobes ruined and grooved and grinded down and all that, but this one kind of had a startle for a minute. So we got to discussing. And I want y'all to take a look at something. Okay, let me show y'all the, the lobe in question first. First of all, this cam is shot, all right? But look at this lobe. Y'all see that? That is deep. That is freaking deep. But look how... Now, we all know how to camshaft or how to lift the ride on this, right? But what's startling us or what's bothering us is how it's so deep down in the center. How is that chewed up deep down in the center? Well, we're going to talk about that, guys. Um, like, like I say, it's a pretty simple, supposed to be a pretty simple job. Now, that, guys, will leave off a lot of shavings. All right, do not just put this back together and let it go go chasing those shavings guys remember what i told you earlier on one of this video watch this video right here where i talked about this oil control valve remove that if shavings on there according to chrysler those shavings had traveled throughout the block and uh and chrysler eyes they really want you to do a block but uh we really need to get this oil pan off chase all those shavings down because that is a lot guys a little groove here and there yeah you can get away with that but that is way too much so uh, my man was pretty smart. He sold extra cleaning time. Uh, yes, I applaud anybody that's <laughs> willing to go chase down some uh, shavings because they're hard to do. All right, now, let me set up and show you guys. Remember, we want to discuss the way this is grooved, all right? Yeah, it's nothing out of the ordinary of a load being grinded down, but look at the how that's deep, all right? That is, that is kind of weird, all right? Uh, matter of fact, uh, Let's talk about that. Let's get it. All right, guys. So here's the rack right here. I want y'all to pay attention. All right. This is the rack of uh, lifters that came out of this engine. Now, pay attention. Look at this right here. Oh, uh, yes, that's failed. Yes, that has grinded down on the load. We can obviously see that. All right. But look right here. That's a small crack right here. All right. What that crack in this rack would do, it will allow this see that it will allow this lifter in some cases to spin <laughs> all right now with this being turned this way uh who knows guys it's likely that this lifter was sitting inside that load and that's what made that deep groove like that okay uh it makes sense i don't know how this can happen but he said he did not crack this so what i guess in the middle of wearing this can just vibrate and slowly but surely, depending on the revolution, end up like this. Now you really got a, a chewing up situation. But you would think this would be concaved, like right here on the end. I'm trying to zoom in so y'all can see. Um, I don't know. Let me go get the cam and we're going to hold it up and we're going to take a look at some guys. This is bothering me. But like I say, this cracked and I can assume that will allow this lifter to do this. Hold tight, let me grab the camshaft. All right, so there's the camshaft in question. Where is that load? Right here. All right, so think about this for a second. If this is like this, <laughs> yes, that would cause that. Otherwise, why on earth, this is how it's normally sitting, right? So how, if the lifter's sitting in the right position, gonna cause that deep groove in this camshaft like that, right? So some way, somehow, it does this, now look, that's a perfect chew up spot to eat all the lead up. Wow, guys. Uh, I never gave that much thought, okay? But uh, when I saw the way this was worn, that uh, dawned on me and we was over here discussing it. That's likely what happened, guys. How, I don't know. <laughs> now, I wanna say they're not gonna start redesigning the rack, okay? But, and I don't think that caused started this because it had to start the failure had to start right here so i guess over time it's just vibrate vibrate and end up like that and just whoo talk about true city but that one is like the worst one i've seen guys all right so i'm gonna end this discussion but uh 
yeah that's just way heavily on me guys uh, all of this is getting replaced by the way so don't panic by the way we got it laying out it's getting replaced guys I know a lot of you guys are sensitive though we're gonna remove the mds clean out the journals the channels whatever you call them we're gonna make this hemi back to way now did all of this start because this failed that is the big debate that's going on matter of fact that is the huge debate that's going on what's starting the process what's starting the catastrophic near catastrophic uh failure because yeah this is very near i mean but it's repairable okay the real thing is making sure you get all those shavings out because guys let me tell you something if you don't if you just simply replace this cam and these uh, lifters, this car will come back. You may have MDS codes. Uh, we've had one come back. We ended up removing all the MDS, cleaning all this stuff out. Something we should have did in the beginning. And uh, the cars have been gone since. So this, those little shavings and trash can get in there and call wreak havoc. Okay, like I say, the best way to do it is to remove the oil pan. Because I want to think these shavings are pretty heavy. So they're going to just slowly fall and wake they work their way to the bottom of the oil pan guys if you here right here you don't have much you could try to get some out through here if it's magnetized uh but the best way like the way we do it brothers motors we remove the oil pan okay some places we speed dependent we got to go 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 i'm not saying cut short cut sh corners because you commission you still at the end of the day your image is on the line and you're trying to protect it and don't want this car to come back i did a video the other day on all those uh hemis coming back after we repair them and the return rate is extremely low okay all right that's why i tend to disregard the word that's floating around on youtube called fatal flaw i tend to disregard that because these don't come back after we've updated these lifters and in some cases uh the camshaft now I had a guy on the channel the other day questioning, um, are these camshaft built with salt? Uh, I, I, I personally don't know what they build up. Somebody uh, mentioned it on uh, one of the live stream guys. In fact, guys, uh, tune in to some of the live stream. We get deep off into these conversations. I can't remember everything. A live stream is uh, every Thursday and Sunday at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Sometimes we clown around, sometimes we serious. But at any rate, tune in to the YouTube live stream. Uh, we discussed a lot of this um we we brought up the topic on what the camshaft is made of and if it's made of soft material of whatever it's made of right so that led to some real good discussion but i want to end this video right here but uh i don't know man now will they start redesigning this rack nah likely not because that is not what's the, 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 I, I want to look at the new with new parts. Is the rack also updated? I know the lifters have been uh, revised, redesigned, but is the rack also redesigned? Because, like I say, those don't normally. Look at that crack. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, that's crazy, guys. All right, guys, that's all I have. Uh, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all on the next video.